everyone. My name is Lydia DeVos and I'm a rising senior here at Woodbridge Senior High School and I'm pleased to introduce you all to the halls of Woodbridge. Me and along with several other student leaders are going to show you what Woodbridge is all about. So sit back and relax and let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start off with some background history of Woodbridge. So Woodbridge was actually established in 1964 where Woodbridge Middle School is now located and it relocated to its current location back in 1974. Although Woodbridge is one of the oldest schools of PWCS, Woodbridge was actually not the first design and layout of this school. It was actually inspired by Garfield Senior High School. So if you compare the two schools, there's more similarities and differences. So come on in. Okay, so here's our school festival. This is actually one of Mrs. Abney's first renovation projects when she became clinical here in the summer of 2016. It's not only an aesthetically pleasing addition to our school, but it does ensure and tighten our security as a whole. So all visitors that come into a bridge has to be admitted by our secretary office, and this is actually the door that leads you to the main office. So all visitors have to come in for safety and security reasons. Okay, so this is our counseling department. This is where students are able to sit down and talk to the counselor about many things, such as colleges, grades, transcript, and mental health, and so much more. Students are able to sit down with the counselor and get a reach with them, by making an appointment, which you could come in and you would grab a tablet and then make an appointment, which will be helpful for counselors because it will make it much easier to organize for them to actually see you. Another way you could schedule an appointment is by phone, email, or sometimes just by walking in, but it all depends on the counselor's schedule and the time that's going on. So students are able to know who the counselor is by their last name. For example, if your last name starts with A, the B or J, your counselor would be Miss Rubin. And all the counselor offices are all behind here. So you kind of make a loop and you go all the way around and that's where all the counselor offices are. Okay, so now I'm going to pass on this word to my friend or mama. Thank you, Lady. Hey guys, I'm a junior at Woodbridge Senior High School and I've been a part of the Student Activities Leadership Council for about two years now. Alright guys, this is the main lobby and when we have a home football game, the dance team, cheerleaders and band all swarm the main lobby and it's completely hot at 7 a.m. and it's one of my favorite traditions. Former principal L. Ross started the Woodbridge Alumni Hall of Fame in which he continued to celebrate alumni individuals and groups who contributed to Woodbridge Senior High School during the time here. Each alumni who is included is celebrated annually in February at the Wall of Fame induction ceremony. This school year will be the fourth year for this event and some past inductees include Gloria Golson, the first African American teacher here at Woodbridge Senior High School. and. Hugh Browning, the first principal at Woodbridge Senior High School, who said from 1964 to 1975. Alright guys, this is a gym, and as you can see, construction started a couple of months ago on two new auxiliary gyms, and we also added two scoreboards, so this is all fun stuff, and we're really looking forward to using them. Alright guys, thank you, and that's it for me today, now we're going to start the camera on to Brennan. Hey guys, I'm a senior here at Woodbridge, and in addition to sporting events, the gym also hosts other Woodbridge traditions such as Winter Concert, Multicultural Night, and Homecoming. So Ms. Abney is the 8th principal of Woodbridge. She is the first person of color and third female to hold this position. She also started coining school themes to set the tone for the year. Themes that we've adopted include closing gaps, building bridges, leaving legacies, it takes a village, and a Viking story. This year's school theme is We Are the World. Speaking of We Are the World, as part of their summer legacy project, the class of 2019 created the We Are Wall to celebrate all of the numerous identities that are a part of the Viking Village. Cool, right? So now that we're on the opposite side of the lobby near the upper cafeteria, it's my pleasure to welcome you to the Senior Lounge. The Senior Lounge has had many renovations, starting with the class of 2017 and again with the class of 2020. 2017 added new table spaces, booths, and murals as the one behind me, and 2020 rearranged the layout of the lounge by adding new chairs and bar stools in replacement for the couches. I guess that's just one of the perks of being a senior. Thanks, Brenna. Hi guys, I'm Ben, and I'm a junior here at Woodbridge. Hi guys, so in the 90s, Woodbridge had set locker bays where some classrooms now exist. 
Um, about 15 years ago, all these locker bays got changed out into additional classrooms. And then if you come with me. So actually a lot of students choose not to use their lockers due to the limited time that we have between classes and getting to them is just sort of an inconvenience for a lot of students. Um, in your freshman year, you are um, assigned a locker, but your sophomore, junior, and senior year, you can request one, but it's not mandatory. You don't have to have one. You're probably wondering what a typical day at Woodbridge looks like. So it's about a seven hour day. You rotate through your seven classes every other day, and it alternates on a A, B schedule. Um, You'll get used to it as time goes on, but uh, why don't you come with me to the math department real quick. So the math department has 17 teachers. We have Algebra 1, 2 teachers. We have Trigonometry, Calculus, and we also have our advanced math classes. Thanks guys, I'm going to pass it on to Mina. Have a great tour. Hi, my name is Mina Gopian and I'm a junior in SCLC. The Social Studies Department has a total of 21 teachers. Some of the electives offered include Psychology, Sociology, Geography, 20th Century History, and Human Geography. We also offer dual enrollment government for seniors and dual enrollment U.S. History for juniors. In the 90s, Woodbridge had an open classroom concept in which the classrooms did not have any walls or doors and were only separated by curtains. This was changed to classrooms with walls and doors in the Woodbridge remodel about 15 years ago. Now I'm going to pass it over to Nick who's going to show you the science wing. Hope you guys are enjoying New Start Orientation. Let's go check out the science department. So this is our science department. Um, we have 18 teachers in our science department. Some of our classes include astronomy, oceanography, chemistry, biology, and physics. One of our most popular courses here is forensic chemistry, where teachers create a crime scene and students use their skills taught in the class to solve the fake crime. This is Ms. Grease's room, one of our physics teachers. Speaking of physics, to get an advanced diploma, you've got to take three different sciences, like biology, chemistry, and physics. So this is our English department. Our English department has 19 teachers. Uh, some of the electives include creative writing, AP research, journalism, film study, and yearbook. Our English teachers teach a wide variety of literature. Some of my favorites include Perks of Being a Wallflower and To Kill a Mockingbird. Our junior class this year will be the first class to be able to take dual enrollment English 11, a good way to earn college credits early. Alright, now we're going to pass it off to my friend Sarah. Thanks Nick, I'm Sarah and I'm a junior and here at Woodbridge we have five different world languages. All these classes are held in these hallways. We have Spanish, German, French, Italian, and American Sign Language. There are AP class opportunities for Spanish and French. All of these classes have after school clubs and honor societies which all take part in our annual multicultural night. Here at Woodbridge we have a foreign exchange program where European students can travel to Woodbridge and attend Woodbridge and also these students here have the same opportunities. Alright, here is our library. It is home to our librarians, Mrs. Kelly, Mrs. Crutchin, Mrs. Ola, and Ms. Gilding, our technology instructional coach. Students are able to utilize the library by stopping by in the morning to get a pass for the lunch periods and flex sessions. Students love this option because it helps them get a head start on their schoolwork. Here at Woodbridge, we have over 50 clubs. Some include Key Club, Anime Club, Ecology Club, Art Club, and Unity Club. We encourage students to get involved with extracurricular activities. Welcome to door 17. It's a common entrance for students, especially those who can drive. 
Juniors and seniors are allowed to apply for a parking permit so they can park in our parking lot. Now we're on the ground level. This hallway is home to many of our performing arts classes, like choir and band and theater and dance and orchestra. We have phenomenal performing arts students and teachers. Now here's Andrea. Hello there, my name is Andrea. I am currently a senior in SALC and we are now in the attendance office. Here's where you drop by your absences and tardies. Follow me. We are now walking towards the school nurse. Here's where you go when you're feeling sick. And then we have the Dare to See hallway. Woodbridge Senior High School has two very unique programs down this hallway, which are the Dare to See program and the cosmetology. Our cosmetology students can go out of high school with a beautician license. The Ecology Club was created five years ago, and their biggest project throughout the year has been renovating the outdoor classroom for teachers and students to enjoy. Woodbridge Field had many renovations throughout the years. Our first renovation began in the spring of 2018. Our football field is used many times throughout the school year, from late night football games to pep rallies and gym classes. Some of the best high school memories are made in that turf. There are 15 sports here at Woodbridge split into three seasons. Before each season starts, there will be a few days of tryouts for each corresponding sport. For the fall season, we've got some sports like field hockey and cross country. For the winter, for example, basketball and swimming and diving. And for the spring, we've got sports like softball, baseball, and tennis. We're currently in the Memorial Garden that memorializes our fallen Vikings. To continue on with the tour, we've got my good friend, Olivia. Hi, I'm Olivia Clark, I'm a junior. Come on, let's go. In the 1980s, we produced to hold bonfires before each game, but since that was outlawed, tailgates became more popular. Before each home game, one of the grade levels will host the tailgate and sell burgers, hot dogs, and sodas. Anyone is welcome to come, it unites the student body, and they're a lot of fun. Over here, we have a mural that is created by a student from the class of 2013. A lot of pictures are taken by this mural because it features Woodbridge's logo and theme, and students who follow our Woodbridge or SLC Twitter account will see this mural quite often. These next two classes are where student leadership classes take place, also known as SALC. SALC hosts prom and homecoming. Hi, I'm Angeli. You can apply to the leadership class during the end of your freshman year. When you apply, the program is open to sophomores, juniors, and seniors. A lot of students choose to take business classes here at Woodbridge. In fact, all students are required to take economics and finance typically during their junior year. Some business electives include principles of business, sports and recreational marketing, advanced programming, and entrepreneurship. If you're interested in business, Woodbridge has a club called DECA, and it's a great and fun way to be involved in business here. Our auditorium seats 980 people. In the 2014-2015 school year, we had an upgrade from hard seats to cushion seats. Our auditorium holds many special Woodbridge events, including Mr. Woodbridge in October, Town Show in December, Singer Face Off in the winter, Multicultural Night in February, the Spring Musical in April, and award ceremonies in May. All right, that's it for me. I'm gonna hand it off to our fantastic tour queen. Thanks, Ange. Okay, so this is our Rec and Learning Center. It was created three years ago by one of our English teachers, Mr. Trot. It is currently being led by Ms. Taylor as of now. Most of our students who serve as tutors here are advanced math students and writers, so they are definitely good tutors for the students here. Teachers are able to send out their students here during flex periods with flex passes, and students are able to come down here during the free time during the school day. Okay, so 
this is our cardio room. It was recently added when we renovated our right room. It actually has new equipment, such as ellipticals, treadmills, uh, bicycles, and it's just a whole bunch of new equipment. And many of our athletes come in here and use it to get a good workout in. So let's check out our right room now. Okay, so this is our right room. Uh, it was also recently renovated with new equipment. We had, they added more travel on the side and they replaced it with new equipment and weights for athletes and students to use. This room is used by a lot of the sports teams year round. And sometimes advanced gym classes come here and get a good work in as well. education department this is where the classrooms are held also this hallway our autism program has grown significantly annually each year okay so now i want to introduce you guys to our amazing superheroes known as our custodians they work working so hard this summer to get this building so clean so we appreciate them and they are a big part of our viking village okay so now we're near the bus tunnel which is an essential spot for a lot of new students and freshmen because this is where the buses drop off and pick up students from school now I'm going to introduce you guys a friend of mine, which is a student leader here at Woodbridge, and she and I'm going to ask her if she has any advice for any new students coming into Woodbridge. The best advice that I can give new students is to be yourself because there is a great, diverse group of people here, and there is a place here for everybody, so you should really just enjoy your time here. And remember, we are the world. Welcome to Woodbridge. <laughs>